My name is Bhavri. I'm a faculty member at Rutgers, along with my student, Ajay. As uh, you see, uh, it was written almost 20 years ago. I think the authors have not changed that much. We look the same. Uh, so this was a paper published in ICDCS. And uh, we were beginning to look at data over wireless when we started this project. And the environment that we were looking at was basically laptops, and we were probably one of the few people who had access to what was then called WaveLab. And many of you may not even know there was a form factor called PCMCIA, which was a very reasonably big card that we could uh, fix to our um, laptops. And the idea was that you know people would like to transfer data over this wireless network not only from remote but also from the laptop to some servers. Of course, we didn't think people would take selfies in those days, but at least we were thinking we have somehow have to provide a very efficient protocol end to end between uh, the mobile unit and uh, the server. Um, so the question was, uh, what is wrong? Why can't we use existing uh, protocols? When we were beginning to do some research, there were some papers published. Uh, Ramon is somewhere here. Ramon and Vivi had a paper saying there were some problems with uh, wireless uh, TCP over wireless links. And then we said, all right, if that is true, uh, is there any need for a different TCP? Or how do we modify it so that we can provide what we were basically looking at high transfer over wireless links, both from sender to the server and vice versa. And uh, that's where we were. And, uh, and the question was, what, why did make it so interesting? Okay. And we were beginning to look at data over wireless and saying, what is new? What is new? What is new? All the time we were saying, is there anything new? Um, so the wire was very reliable. And reliable compared to wireless, and the wireless link was very fast. So that was clear. The early prior work which was beginning to say, hey, there's going to be a problem when you run an end to end protocol over a wireless link. And then, of course, uh, energy, that was also coming into a uh, <coughs> big factor because people in computer science started writing papers on low energy protocols, uh, energy efficient data transfer, energy efficient query. Uh, some of us uh, wrote in those ways. As well. So therefore, the second um, aspect was energy, battery power, battery life was beginning to become a factor in the algorithms we designed, the software we developed, and of course, the third one was location. Uh, that the wire location is fixed, with wireless your location keeps changing over time, especially when you are old. So these were the three uh, pillars of our school when we started working on the research problem of how to decide. How to design into a protocol for file transfer uh, over wireless. And the problem here was that the wire was very fixed, and the TCP protocols, you know, today at that time, were designed to be very careful of not testing the network. So TCP always assumed that if there is loss in the link or loss in the network, that means there is congestion. So you need to do back off. So TCP is always trying to do backup whenever there is a backup loss. And the backup was very severe as well. It would always go down to two and then go back up as the packets were being accepted by the network. So on the other hand, the wireless link, um, there was always this um, packet loss. And it doesn't have to be because of congestion, because of the inherent nature of wireless. It was lossy. Some of the losses were very bursty, and so on and so forth. Uh, so therefore, uh, there was this fundamental dichotomy between the behavior that the end unit was expecting on a wire versus the behavior that was happening on wireless. So that means loss on a fixed network or the fixed link uh, means that the TCP was back, it was throttling back. On the other hand, if the loss were to be on a wireless, you have to recast it quickly because the network is not congested. All you have is lost a packet because of the lossy wireless link. So the question is, how do we reconcile? On one side, you are saying, hey, if there is loss, try harder. On the other side, you are saying, if there is loss, please back. So we went back and forth, and we came up with this idea of an indirect TCP protocol, 
which behave one way on the wireless link, another way on the fixed link, without actually tampering the server side of the TCP protocol. And uh, Ajay will explain uh, what it is for his uh, thesis. TCP, uh, for wireless, fast TCP, Snoop TCP, 
Uh, I have lost track of how many ECB publications have been there uh, in this area. And a lot of items that have been filed based on this. And then uh, both in the wireless world and in the satellite world, uh, there is this concept of um, developing an ECB based on proxy, where you optimize the ECB stack behavior for the wireless thing and keep the rest the same. And it's now used uh, almost everywhere. Uh, um, so, looking back and coming to today, uh, if you're asking, hey, what are some of the ideas that we are carrying through in the current research? Um, if you look today, what's happening here is that everything goes through a revolution, right? Earlier we had mainframes, we would have to from client, then we said, well, who wants to go way back, less competition near your desktop, now again we are going back, everything is in the cloud, all the answers are very dumb right now. And when I started graduate school, that's exactly what I had. I really took many terminal and we had a vast cluster of cities on the list. Uh, so this whole thing goes in cycle. I think the same thing is happening today, where initially you started out with every website being a unique URL. Now every URL is an app, basically. And now, if you look now, all the buzz and all the excitement is that, again, all of these apps will merge into one bot. And all you have to do is to just think what you want and come out magically this spot will give you an answer. Um, of course, we want we want to help this bot, so there must be something about awareness, context, where you are, what kind of ask, uh, questions you asked before. So there's all this surrounding information that may be needed to help to get this world where one concierge app or bot app, whatever you want to call it, will eventually answer all the questions that you and from the mobile community and to what uh, we are going, uh, if I were to say, hey, you know, where should I be working on, at least my opinion, that if you look at the bot world, we are going to very precise, very vague descriptions of what the user wants, and it's more conversation, right? I'm willing to negotiate, I'm willing to sort of specify, <coughs> I'm not happy with the answer. Whereas there's a whole world out there which we are very used to, request response or protocol based uh, interactions and these are very precise and requires exact specification of what the requester wants and what the response looks like, the form and format of data, etc. So the question now is um, where do we do this change? On one hand the user is expecting almost human like conversational interaction with the environment. The other side there is so much body of work and content that exists that can be retrieved with very precise uh, client server kind of protocol. Uh, now again, where do we do the change and how efficient it is going to be? I think in the next uh, couple of, at least next week, you'll be still looking at this issue of uh, how we present this information to users, uh, pick up your favorite uh, application, and if you want to convert it into a very conversational kind of environment, things are going to be very different. The question now is where do you want to do the interaction and that's something I think researchers will definitely solve as we go along in this area. So I would like to also put time to acknowledge uh, uh, the people who helped us with all our work, the funding agencies, we are funded by DARPA and National Science Foundation, our computer science department and also when I joined workers at that time we had just started in lab, which was the basis of uh, my work there. David Goodman was the director, my colleague Thomas Williams, he was also with me. So we started this whole data over wireless project at Rutgers, and then, uh, as I say, this is uh, history. And I'd like to thank Andrew and the committee for uh, selecting our paper for this special time. Thank you.